all yes mm -hmm. I'm just sitting here asking myself why you're obstructing me from manufacturing oh <laughs> now I have told you that it's against the law to issue court orders where you use fraud on the court to do that <laughs> Now, for every city and municipality in the United States that has any citizens that happen to throw away products that they no longer use, yes, there were those that said, well, at 2,500 degrees, poot, there's probably some aluminum cans that didn't get melted all the way, poo, but I would think aluminum does melt at uh, those temperatures, yes, kind of disintegrates, oh, there's some metal cans that you threw away instead of recycling, and you know what happens, as I'm manufacturing this byproduct of the incineration process, I push it out to another place, and I use a magnet to attract all all the metal out of it using electricity. Oh, see, you just put a magnet on it, you turn the electricity up, and the magnet attracts all the metal that happens to be in that clay byproduct of incineration. Choo -choo. Now, you thought we should use the land to do this, but I thought, no, it'd be better if every municipality purchased an incinerator from me. <laughs> Now what happens is this magnet, yes, it's kind of on one of these uh, conveyor belt systems where you put it into a different room and you reverse the polarity of the electricity <laughs> and all the metal falls to the floor. <laughs> then you can take all of that and put it in a smelter. Good for you. <laughs> now, there is no toxic substances in the water or the air because I scrub all the substances. <laughs> yes. And I make sure that it's 100% environmentally friendly. Pow, pow. <laughs> Now, I know you have to have your landfills because there's no possible way that putting garbage in the land is the stupidest fucking idea that ever... <laughs> well, I told you I wanted all that garbage, didn't I? Poo-poo! <laughs> and I want to sell all of the actual uh, incinerated... <laughs> it's, it's really a very dried product at 3,000 degrees. Yes, it is. <laughs> you can mix it with water and cement and make a fire brick that will never get burnt through because fire Fires don't get that hot. <laughs> now your thought was, well, we'll continue to obstruct his rights. We won't enforce the laws, and he'll never make any money. And <laughs> he can sit here selling cigarettes for the rest of his fucking life. <laughs> But I'm thinking the Environmental Protection Agency that seemed to be so important as an independent agency of the United States federal government, <laughs> why don't you get me all the employees of the EPA? Because <laughs> I think it's toxic to the environment to put garbage in the actual ground itself. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> and uh, knowing what I know about the EPA's mandate <laughs> to protect the environment, isn't that why you're an employee? <laughs> I would say that any city that decided to pollute the environment because of the putting of garbage in the ground <laughs> could be obligated to purchase my incinerators for all the shit and garbage of every city of the United States. <laughs> now, I know you don't like it when I make you buy my innovations, but uh, <laughs> there's this concept of littering. What's the difference between putting a cigarette butt on the ground as getting a ticket for littering and putting garbage in the ground because you get paid? <laughs> Well, isn't it the same concept? You're just littering the environment uh, because you're the garbage disposal company? Ooh. I know. You said we had to have landfills, and I said, well, that's dumb. I can be ticketed for littering, yes, but you're not ticketed for putting garbage on the ground? <laughs>